welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in for another part of this series. If this is your first time, you may want to watch the first part to get an overview of what the whole series is about before proceeding with this next portion. So in this video, we're going to be addressing the importance of building a regimen for your natural hair, whether you are starting or restarting your journey. I'll also be sharing three tips that you likely haven't heard much about and that could become key tools in your hair journey as well. So why is a routine important? I talked about this in the first video, so I'll keep it brief. It's important because it will keep you accountable. It keeps you moving forward. And this routine doesn't have to be rigid or the be all and end all of everything. However, it's key to have something consistent in place so that you are able to maintain and improve the health of your hair over time. It also doesn't have to have a million steps you can make sure that the regimen you create is in line with not only what your hair needs, but also in line with your lifestyle as well. So for example, for myself, if you've seen my natural hair journey part two video, you will know that I've had many routines over the years, some more complicated than others. And with the complicated ones that required me to retouch or re-moisturize my hair every day, they didn't work for me. It was too much work and I had issues with dryness as well. I finally came to sheer butter and eventually my own hair butter blends that allow me to keep my hair moisturized for one to two weeks without retouching when it's in a protective style. The link is in the bio as usual if you would like to try my hair butters out. Thank you so much for your support guys, I've been overwhelmed. Anyway, so the regimen that I've had for the past couple of years works the best for my hair and it's in line with all of the other commitments in terms of family, work and everything else going on in my life as well. You can think of this routine kind of like a meal plan or an exercise plan for your hair. You can plan it out in advance to make sure it has everything that your hair needs. Then you just have to do it and repeat. Now, if you struggle with the actually doing it part, you may want to take a look at my why your natural hair isn't growing mindset matters video as it may help. If you don't have a regimen, you may find yourself in a position where you're doing a bunch of different stuff to your hair with no real regard for what works and what doesn't. So in this video, I would like to give you three steps to creating a solid and effective regimen. So step one is to make sure that you have all the key components of a good regimen. Now, this may vary from person to person. Everyone has their own views on it. However, the key components that I stand by are cleansing, conditioning, and moisturizing slash sealing. Decide how and how often you'll wash your hair. Then decide if and when you'd like to condition your hair. I know that for many, this step is optional, but as someone with very dry hair, I stand by deep conditioning fully as I've seen the positive effects that it's had for me. The third step is moisturizing slash sealing. Once you decide on how often you would do these three things, you basically have a regimen. The how of how you do these things is very important as well, and I'll explain why in, the, in part three of the series. Step two, find people whose hair is very similar to yours in terms of pattern and porosity, but whose hair is where you want yours to be and study them. Find at least five people. You can find them on YouTube, Instagram, Google, hair forums. Find them, get their regimens, pay attention to the details on when and how they do the things that they do, and then find the average of all of those five people. Find the pattern. What do they have in common? There will be some things that they have in common, 100%. Try those things out on your hair for a month and then see how you feel. This is such a useful tool and I think it's often missed out. Whenever you're trying to get somewhere, it's always good to find examples of people who have reached there before, right? If you're looking to make a million dollars and you want to know how, who better to ask than a millionaire, right? Well, it's the same principle. They essentially know something that we don't know. So if you're unable to ask them directly, we are so lucky to live in a world where People share so much information on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Google. This is something that I started to do when I first went natural and it's honestly been one of the best tools that I've ever used. It's like learning from someone else's mistakes, right? You know what works because it's tried and tested. You can see the results and all you need to do is carry it out. One tip I would give um, when you're doing this would be to perhaps lean towards individuals sharing their experience rather than influencers showing a lot of demos and products and sponsorships. I have nothing against that. By all means, 
do you i think a lot of these ladies are really amazing i myself look up to a lot of them however when it comes to understanding exactly what someone does on a consistent basis it can be really difficult to get the that accurate information if that makes sense so i would stick to youtubers whose messages are very consistent um, maybe even repetitive because if they keep doing and saying the same things and you can see that they work then you know that you can trust in that information one place where i was able to find a lot of everyday women with long beautiful natural hair was on longhaircareforum.com i know it's not as active as before i was a member many years ago um, however if you look through the archives of some of their hair growth challenge threads or their regimen threads going back to even like 2009 or so you can see that there are so many accounts from normal women, non-influencers, just everyday people with bra strap length, mid-back length, waist length, hip length, tailbone length, down to thigh bone length. And they're just growing their hair, or they were just growing their hair as a hobby. So a lot of them have very stable, consistent and normal regimens, but there are some gems in there that perhaps you're not doing that could really propel your hair to the next level so as you know i'm currently on my own journey to thigh length so i'm looking back to that forum forum and having a look to see if there's anything i've missed um, that could potentially help me along to this new length that is basically uncharted territory for me and it's helped me tweak my styling technique a little bit and i'll do a video on that at some point this is not sponsored in any way by the way, I have no affiliation with the website. It's just helped me through my journey. So if someone out there likes to do research like I do, then it's something that might work for you as well. It might be a good resource. Step three is to stick with something long enough to know if it works or not. I know it's tempting to look in the mirror, feel like nothing is happening and lose focus on what you're trying to do. Growing and maintaining healthy hair definitely doesn't happen overnight. It's a process and with any process, we need patience. When you establish a regimen, I would say you would probably need about three months or so to know if it's working. That's usually enough time to see if your hair is going in a positive or negative direction. It's usually enough time to see if it fits into your lifestyle as well. If after that time you notice any issues, by all means change something. But try to pinpoint the actual issue and change one thing at a time so that you can see what works and what doesn't. Keeping track of what works and what doesn't is something that really helped me along in my journey. Doing these kind of experiments and listening to my hair to see what changes need to be made without sort of jumping from one thing to the next. So those are my three tips on how to build your regimen, your routine. Um, It's part of my natural hair secrets, natural hair journey secrets, series i hope this video helped you on your journey to building or rebuilding your regimen i would love to hear your thoughts on some of the steps i've mentioned today so please leave your mess your comments below and i will read and reply i'll see you in the next one bye